last day here in Brazil and I couldn't leave without seeing the famous Christ the Redeemer statue. Um, it's still relatively early here. It only opened maybe like 45 minutes ago, so it's not super crowded yet. Um, and my understanding is that it's actually less crowded than normal at this time. I think mainly because it's the day after Easter. Uh, so basically, Christ the Redeemer is what like Rio's kind of known for. It's a statue that's 98 feet at the top of this mountain. Um, honestly, the statue is cool but to me. Like, I think the views are what makes it like more worthwhile coming up here. Like, I can't say I'm overly impressed with this statue. Like, it's nice, but it's not really my favorite thing. Like, the views, however, totally worth it. So if you're in Rio, come check it out. Um, I think between Christ the Redeemer and Sugarloaf, the views from Sugarloaf I found to be a little bit better, but I feel like you can't come to Rio and not see Christ the Redeemer because it is such a big thing here. So maybe just do both, but either way, definitely do at least one of them. thing to note when you're coming to visit Christ the Redeemer definitely wear comfortable shoes there's a lot of steps up to the top so it's not great for somebody with like limited mobility uh, it's gonna be a little difficult um, so just you know think ahead on that um, but yeah, I'd say wear tennis shoes I don't think this would be like super great climbing in sandals you could but tennis shoes are better Thank you. 